start the game. Like the old days, Beverly, high school football spin, and a floater from Mike with Beverly, who's had an enormous impact in the series to get some started offensively tonight. Dave Crowder hits a three. His first six shots on Monday night game five has missed a couple. Flicker tries, gets it, and lays it in off the glass. We just don't know from one game to an exit of a playoff series as Beverly tries, lays it up, and then Beverly has their first two buckets. Chris Paul, well defended again by Beverly. He has just been spectacular defensively. George the drive and the finish. Marcus Morris. A little jump hook and DeAndre Ayton knocks it down. Monty Williams wants to get him more touches, Mark. And they're already in this ballgame, he's getting his share of touches. They're trying to get him while he looks at him. While he looks, how about Patrick Beverly? In the first four minutes, has seven of their nine points. The answer, three pointer the other way. Now it's Jackson on it. Hoist up the three-pointer, rattles it in, Chris Paul once again from downtown. Chris Paul, stutter dribble, crossover, throws it in, DeAndre Ick posting up, and gets good position down low. Trust him to make moves, then making plays for him. Reggie Jackson, knocks down the three. Nobody's hit more threes in these playoffs than Jackson. His intelligence for playing a team game. Really helps you at both ends. First lead of the game for the Clippers is short-lived as Devin Booker steps back. Kennard steps back. Ball tipped and taken by Booker. Booker pulls up from the elbow. Devin Booker drills it and an eight-point lead for Phoenix. They're shooting 60% from the field. Yet it had been a struggle the last several games offensively. Cousins, that's a three. Bucker throws it in. Eight. Oh, looked like it tipped off his fingertips, but somehow guided it in. Morris comes off the screen. Can't get it to him. Out to Cousins. Cousins steps back. Fires the three. Oh, he banks it in to Marcus Cousins at the buzzer. It's the high pick and roll defense that gives Cousins a little problem, as we see. Sarge with another three. Gets it out. Terrence Mann. Good look. Oh, no, but two keeps it alive at a new 14 on the shot clock. This time, George inside, banks it home. Said throughout the series, that's a role he embraces. Jackson back to Morris. Morris sets his feet, nails a three. Morris, after a slow start, he missed his first three shots. He's in his next three. They got a couple mid-range jumpers when the three wasn't working for him. Now in rhythm. Chris Paul in much better rhythm. Here in game six, Morris has Booker on him. Moves cross court to Beverly. Beverly crossover drives inside. Layup is good. Patrick Beverly. Booker drives past and throws it down. Devin Booker. That's what I'm talking about. Meeting force with force. Patrick Beverly want to get into you. Room was the final cut of the heat. Went to Greece. Came back trying to get in the NBA again. Couldn't do it. As Booker counted at the foul and a chance for a three-point play. Well, guys, when you see a little extra going on between Pat Bev and CP3, don't forget that when Chris Paul decided it was time to leave the Clippers, Jay Crowder there, by the way. That's still a close ball game. Crowder drills another. Jay Crowder suddenly hot from downtown. His third of the first half. He's got 13 points. Fight for the rebound. Craig and eight. Eight comes away. Back to Booker. Crowder, another open look for three. It's good. Jay Crowder's come alive. 16 points here in the first half. And they're affected at times. It's, it's just the way the society is. Yeah, but why would you go on there if you know it's 90% negative as Paul hits a mid-ranger? Booker finds Bridges. Bridges to Crowder. Crowder's been hot. That continues. Jay Crowder is fifth three-pointer. Ball to eight. In a crowd. Eight. Lays it up and in. Nice soft touch for the big man. Bridges. Guarded by Jackson. Mikel Bridges drives inside. Layup. Blocking foul. Count it and one. Falling down. Nearly 
travel somehow got the shot off and a chance for a three-point play. Let's, let's go for the knockout punch right now, offensively and defensively. There's two other teams that tried to do that here in these playoffs and were unsuccessful as Paul George knocks it in. Bridges to Paul. Paul gets in the paint, floats it up, shot is good. Chris Paul able to knock it down. He's got 14 points. Booker uses the screen beautifully and flushes. Timeout, Clippers. Devin Booker responded in a big way, as did all the Hawks. But as Donna said, they played with their food last night in the first half. George on the drive, kicks it out for two, up top Morris, three-pointer, puts it in, Marcus Morris makes it a ten-point game, Nader on George, George gets inside, finds Morris, extra pass for two, corner three, it's good, ten straight points by the Clippers, Cousins, shot clock at seven, Paul, little shake and make drives past him, left-handed layup, it's good, Four to shoot. Paul puts up a three. Puts it in. Chris Paul from downtown. And the lead back to 15. Cousins misses the free throw. That foul on eight was his second. 14 point lead. And it got by here in the fourth. Paul to the basket. Lays it up and in. Paul gets inside. Looks back. Nobody near him. Hits the jumper. 26 for Paul. And the lead up to 18. 26.6 assists for Chris Paul. There's the screen set by eight. Paul, pull up jumper. Puts it in. Chris Paul does it again. That play is made because of the pace in which Devin Booker comes off of that screen. He can't catch up and get back into the pitch. Paul George, pull up jumper. Got it. Paul, step back, free putter. Puts it in. And the foul. Chance for a four point play. Eight assists. Three rebounds, a couple of steals, and a 21-point lead for his sons. Paul gets inside, flips it up, and Chris Paul dominating right now. Eight to shoot for Chris Paul. Devin Booker's at half court talking to the fans. Paul for three, puts it in. 118 to 92, the Suns have blown it open. Chris Paul is rolling right now. Still five and a half remaining. Paul George. Jump shot is good. Lead right now for the Phoenix Suns. Booker finds the room. Goes high for the jumper. Rattles it all. 22 for Booker. Falling away. Paul not that time. Reggie Jackson throws it up. Terrence Mann lays it up and in. That's never happened before. A team making the finals after missing the playoffs for 10 years or more. Paul putting on the finishing touches. What a performance of Chris Paul. And then they added Chris Paul and Jay Crowder. And this has been a dream season for the Phoenix Suns. And it's not over yet. Both coaches emptying the benches. So much emotion for Chris Paul. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame someday. And now he's going to be able to play for the Phoenix Suns for the first time in 28 years are going 